Cody. Well, welcome back here to CBS 19 News at 6, and it is CBS 19 night here at the 87th Annual Gladewater Rodeo. With me, I have a very special guest. You may not see, but you will definitely hear him. Greg Simus, you are the rodeo announcer here for the Gladewater Rodeo. Welcome. Thank you for joining us here today. Oh, thank you for having me. It's an honor. Of course. So, a lot of people, like I mentioned, may not see you, but they will most definitely hear you. Yes. Well, guess how long have you been doing this, first off? Oh, gosh. I picked up a microphone, I guess, in 2002. So, 22 years uh, I've been dabbling in this uh, business and, and eventually made it a career. And I believe it's my eighth year here in Gladewater. Perfect. And so, I guess here in Gladewater, you know, you've been doing this for almost 10 years. What yeah. keeps you coming back to Gladewater? Well, first and foremost, you know, this is my living. So, if I have a week off, I have a weekend off. I and mean, that's how I pay my bills. Yeah. But secondly, it's the community. It's the people. It's this area. Uh, I love Texas. I love coming down here. I don't get to come down here enough. Uh, but um, it, the, the people here are different. They've become family. When you're, you're in a location for so long, I know I can drop my clothes off with Pete and, and she'll <laughs> wash them in the morning. You know, I'm living out of a hotel in a, in a bag. I was in Florida last week. Gladewater, Texas, and I leave for Idaho next week, and, and then I get to go home. But, you know, this community, I, I Double M's bringing all the seafood tonight, and their hospitality second to none. But uh, truly, uh, the Moors and, and the entire community, um, it's just become friends and family. Yeah, you really can't beat East Texas hospitality, especially no. here in Gladewater. Yeah. And I guess as a rodeo announcer, what is it that, I mean, obviously you're telling the crowd what's happening behind us. So this is your landscape behind us. Yeah. What is it that you're going to be telling people? Like, what is it that people will hear? Well, first and foremost, what they're going to hear is, is uh, a piece of Western history. You know, rodeo was born and bred from the competitive spirits of the men that tamed the Wild West, the cowboys. And so there's, our, our industry is in, in, enriched with, with Western heritage. Yeah. And you're going to hear a lot of that. But what you're going to hear is a description of the events. There's eight different professional events that they'll compete in tonight and tomorrow night. And so within those events, there's rules. I'll go over the rules. Within those events, there's contestants. You know, some contestants are first year contestants on their permit or a rookie. Like tonight, uh, you'll have a lady here that's a 23 time world champion. Really? So she'll be here and she has really uh, changed the landscape of women in rodeo. And, and uh, so the tip of the spear will be here tonight. Jackie Crawford, you know, Stephenville, Texas, Cowgirl, she'll be here. So you're going to hear me talk about those contestants. Brody Cress in the saddle bronc riding, seven-time NFR qualifier. He's won Las Vegas three times. Just one of the most decorated guys going. So I'm going to give you a little piece of their information. I'm going to tell you if this kid's an 18-year-old kid in his first rodeo ever, or I'm going to let you know if it's a seasoned veteran and, or a world champion. So it's, I'm just going to give a little piece of everything and, and kind of tie in my, my humor and a good time because I'm just a fan. There we go. History, fun, all of the above. What yeah. more else could you want? Greg, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. We you look bet. forward to listening to the rodeo here and seeing it as well as your commentary here. So thank you again. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of Appreciate course. You we'll be right back after the break.